I just need the girls to tell if we're live or not. I'm getting all these funny faces. <laughs> so if we're live, just start putting your thumbs up. Let me know if you are in the community group or if you're on the Facebook page. Okay, so yesterday, some of you saw that Maria and I were playing in the kitchen and we wanted to do a private um, little demo, but it, it all went horribly wrong and it went live instead. So I thought, you know what, let's go with it. So, um, and it turns out that Maria, I'm going to blame Maria, because uh, she forgot to press the magic button for us to go live in the group. But hopefully we think we've sorted it today. So are we in both Maria? Are we Laura? Yeah. So Laura is equipment dot. You wanna see how much equipment <laughs> Laura's got behind her? If I could turn it round, she has got iPad, she's got computers, she's in, in control of everything. And John has gone to work, he's gone, I can't go. <laughs> So um, hopefully you're going to see us in both. So please let us know if you're in the group. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you're here. An occasional love heart would be really nice. And, uh, and say hi to us. So for those of you who are new to the Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Live, we do a live in my own kitchen. I'm Carol McFarland. Um, we do a live in my own personal kitchen. This is not a production kitchen. I say this every week and I know some of you guys, well lots of you guys hear this every week, but for the newbies, this is my own personal kitchen. Everything that's produced in this kitchen is not for public consumption, usually because Maria scoffs it first, mm -hmm. followed by the doggy walker, and then Laura might get a chance if it gets to the office, and then the warehouse lads get a chance after that. That's how it goes, isn't it, girls? <laughs> so, <laughs> so anything you see here. So do I wear an apron? No, I don't wear an apron. Do I tie my hair up? No, I don't. Sometimes I do. It depends how hot it is. Um, so everything that goes here, I want it to feel as though you're in your kitchen and you've got everything set up and you're just making things for family and friends. Now, professionals, if you are watching me, I am not going to use professional skills, professional techniques, simply because I don't know them. So there's no point commenting, telling me how to do it or I'm doing it wrong. I am going to do it my way and my way is to encourage hobby bakers or people who don't bake to bake or people who want to bake but they're scared of baking and the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen is all about showing you how to make things easy. So some things we, re well, we repeat, we repeat, we, you know, I get Laura, my daughter back on with two Lauras for the newbies. There's Laura on the camera and Laura, my daughter. So I get my daughter coming back, repeating things, I repeat things. And then we also do Facebook Lives on a Monday, again in this kitchen, where we'll either have myself or a demonstrator come along and demonstrate their products or maybe demonstrate some artistic skills for you. So they're more the professionals who will come along on a Monday, okay? So um, I don't know how many people are here. I'm yakitied on so that the group can get live. How are we doing, Laura? We're good. We're, we're hitting 90 on the Facebook feed at the moment. Yeah, and what are we doing on the group? Uh, can we tell? No, no, I can't tell you that at the moment. But we're definitely live. <laughs> we're definitely live. Are you sure we're live in both groups? Yes. Right, okay, so that's great. So we get into two audiences. So today, what I'm going to make is, we had Karen Davies in here um, earlier last year, and she came along and she did a demo using some of her moulds. And uh, I'm just going to show you them. They're all on our website. So any moulds that you see today are all on our website, and I'm just using a really good selection. And we're going to use Karen Davies' biscuit recipe, cookie recipe, whatever you want to call it, and I have adapted it to use the sugar and crumbs flavours. So where Karen has used the recipe and there's other things in, I have made this the sugar and crumbs way, so you couldn't make this recipe any easier. And it is fabulous. So what I will show you is, this is what we're making. So this is one batch of biscuits. So which camera can we see, girls? Yes. Yeah. Down a little bit. Perfect. So this is one batch of biscuits, and from here we've got 23 biscuits. Now you can see they're all different shapes and sizes. So if you wanted to make small ones, you're gonna get a lot more biscuits. And if you wanna make larger ones, then you're gonna get less, so it's very simple. Um, so this one, I've used the piped roses, daisy, the sequin mold. This is the dahlia mold. I love this mold, it's such a pretty mold. It makes a really nice thin biscuit as well. Um, I've used the rose, the large rose. If I'm not on camera, girls, just tell me. Yeah. I use the um, peony rose. Peony rose, the peony. 
okay? And then I used the large sunflower out of the buttercream flowers mold. So they look great, don't they? And they smell gorgeous. We've used blueberry as a flavor. I've used the large teddy bear and I've used the teddy bear's face. This mold's a great mold because it also has um, a little hat. So when you want to make a Father Christmas one at Christmas, um, you can use this one as well. So all those molds are on our website, which is www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And all you do is go to Brands, drop down to Karen Davies, and you'll find all the molds there. So let's talk about the biscuit. It takes a few minutes. Nice snap on them. So are we on camera? Nice snap. Wait a minute. Can you hear it? Nice biscuit snap. So that's lovely. That's what you want. You know that they're right. So let's put them back over here. And then let's talk about these bad boys. So who's been getting these already in their parcels, this week's parcels? So we, I think we were a bit late dispatching them. When did they arrive? Did they arrive Monday, these? Yeah. So they arrived Monday, so already quite a few of you are getting them. So when you get a parcel from Sugar and Crumbs, which camera am I talking to them or there? So when you get a parcel from Sugar and Crumbs, there's always a little label on there. I'm in a relationship with Sugar and Crumbs. Um, you know, so it's just a bit of a joke okay but lots of people really like those sticky labels because they see that parcel and they know that's the one that they're going to open first and then they obviously they can't keep the sticker because it's stuck on the box even though some of you do try to peel them off and reuse them so we've started off with the fridge magnets and um they're tricky little things when they're in your hand so um fridge magnets i don't know which camera to look at it's all it's all exciting in here <laughs> so fridge magnet let me just put that there can we see it? Yeah. So we've got a fridge magnet. It's nice, nice dome shape. It's good quality magnet. So we're going to run a little competition once a month. So if you want to go back to there, Flora. So we thought for a bit of fun, we'll do a competition. There's two comps and it will be to the 30th of June. So on the 1st of July, we will pull the prize winner. So the first one is, is that you take a picture with you and your fridge magnet, okay? We need it with you because I want to make sure it's with you. You post it on your page and you go, I've got my fridge magnet. And then Laura, this is Laura's job, she's got to get everybody's name and put them in the drawer, okay? And I think we're gonna do one of those, um, I think there's a, a random calculator thing, so we're gonna log on to one of those, put everybody's name in, and then on the 1st of July, we will then um, pick a winner from that drawer. So you only need to post it once, so just say, got my fridge magnet, and um, I'm in love with the sugar and crumbs. You don't have to say anything, just post a picture. So that's comp one, and the prize for that is £25 worth of free products that you can buy. Then the other one is who can take their fridge magnet furthest across the world. So that means oh, it's holiday time now, so all of you going on holiday, so take your magnet, whether you're going to be in Greece or Spain or France, and we'll put those people who have took them away on holiday into another drawer, okay? And that will be the holiday one. So hope you've got that. Does, does that make it clear? Have I made that clear? Yeah, I understand it. So hopefully that we do. And then what we're gonna do is we've ordered loads of these. Everybody gets one in every order. So everybody who orders regular will be getting more of them. So, cause we know quite a lot of you order weekly, which is fantastic. We're very pleased that you support the company so much. And then I, in a couple next month, I'm actually going to buy badges so that we can put a badge, put badges in for you. And then I'm going to go up a level and I'll talk to you more about it, but I'm gonna order some bronze, silver, gold, and platinum badges. And when they come in, so when the bronze ones come in, I'll talk to you about how you can get your bronze badge. You'll have to ask for it, but I'll tell you how you can get that and how you can get your silver badge and gold and become a platinum customer. So how great is that? Good fun, isn't it? So let's move these all out of the way. I think I've got to, let's chuck them over there now. And let's get on with the cookies. So the cookie mix, very simple. We've got 400 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of blueberry flavoured icing sugar, 200 grams of softened butter, and one beaten egg. Move them all out of the way. And I'll tell you about each mould as we use them, so that you can see. So one beaten egg. I'm going to put gloves on today, amazingly. 
just so that nobody starts on at me about rolling stuff. So we do sell these gloves, by the way. We've always sold them. They come in um, a pack of 100 gloves. So if you only need one for picking or whatever, but, um, or if you need two. So, but because we're needing things, um, I'm going to use two. So I don't need them on yet, okay? Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the butter into the mixer. And it has to be softened, yeah? Just soft room temperature. Chop it up just to help. And we're just gonna have a little bit of noise off the mixer. Sorry about that, guys. Let me get that in there. Laura's moving the camera equipment now. Okay. So I like to get every bit in so we don't waste it. There we go. And then we're going to put the, um, I'm just going to mix the butter for a minute first, just to get that nicely softened. And then the other thing, while that's mixing, let me talk to you, well, the other things that we are going to use is, is that I'm going to show you how to use some of the colours and some sugar paste so that we make some um, sugar paste, some sugar toppings really. So I know that I forgot something. Um, when I go and put these in the oven, I'm going to get Laura to rush into the office there. Um, or maybe, I don't know, I'll rush and go and get them because I know what I'm looking for. But I'm also some cake dough and cake toppers that I brought in. But I think I've done and left them on the table in the other office. But I'll go and get them when we're ready. We don't need them yet. So let me just turn this up. Anybody getting any questions, Laura? I know you're saying the map of the road is by there. Yeah, good. It'd be very good soon when we see who's the first one to get the platinum one. But it'll take a while yet. So, so sorry, Maria. There we go. So I'm just going to melt the butter. Not melt the butter. Just scrape the butter down the bowl. And can they see on this camera? Uh, no, I don't have that one. You don't have that camera? Yeah, so we're just going to scrape the butter down the roll. I've got my instructions out of the way, <laughs> my notes out of the way. <laughs> so that's all we're going to do, just mix it a little bit. Then we're going to add the icing sugar. Now this is blueberry flavoured icing sugar. I'm going to chop it in. Can you see that? We've also got Maria a nice little stick as well so that she's not butt jointed next to each of the demonstrators when they're in. Sometimes we do, we do feel that they are super glued together. I think Maria would like some space as well as the demonstrator. So we've got her on this handy little stick now. Don't know why we didn't think about it before. We've got this stick for years. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes things are a bit slow for us here, aren't they? So we're just going to chop this in. And if anybody's asking any questions, anything, Laura, just let me know. Uh, no, just lots of positive comments. That's what we like. So I put the oven on at 140 electric, fan assisted. I think that's two to three on a gas, or one to two, I'm not quite sure. And I can't remember what it is if you're not on fan. But it is on the recipe site. So talking about the recipe itself, we have a recipe website called sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com. Okay? If you look on the back of your ice back of the bag of your icing sugar, just gonna get this on. I'm just gonna pulsate this a minute, just so we don't get that icing cloud. Yeah, so on the back of, are you here? Yeah. So every bag of icing sugar you get, it tells you about the uh, recipe website. Now, I haven't put one of the other bags, but it's usually in a pink banner. On the uh, summer editions bag, it is in this little blue one here, and that will give you our recipe website. So if you just go on there, in the search button, put biscuits or Karen Davies, and the recipe will come up and you can follow it. And it's got the temperature guide and everything else on there. Plus, if you put in there marshmallows or fudge or meringues, pavlova, it will come up with all the things that we've made in the past, okay? And uh, follow the recipe. So we're back to our mix. So let me just turn it up a minute. 
So there we go, just to incorporate that. So I've just got a quick question. Could you colour the biscuit mix? Um, you know what? I'm not sure. I, I see no reason why you couldn't colour the biscuit mix. We're going to colour these biscuits with some dust afterwards. Personally, I like biscuits to look like biscuits. So, um, but, so I don't know. Feel free, give it a go. But I don't think you'll have any problems with them. And that doesn't matter whether you're using, um, the, if you're using the colour splash range, they are bake stable, okay? The Fractal range that we use, they're bake stable as well. And we've started selling Pro Gel as well. So they're on the website. So you've got three lots of colours there to use. So just taking that off a moment. So I'm back here, just mix that in. Are we on this camera, Laura? Yeah. Okay. So you can see what's happened there. And then we're now going to mix in our beaten egg. So you don't just drop an egg in, okay? Just beat it, drop it in. And then the plain flour that we're using, there's 400 grams of plain flour, yeah? And we're gonna put in half. So we're just going to put in half, I think that's about half, it doesn't matter if it's a full half, but we're going to put in half. So again, I'm just going to chop it in because I don't want it to, um, what am I going to say to you? I don't want it to, um, I'll get my words out in a minute. What do I not want it to do? Form a cloud over the kitchen. Yeah. Um, just to answer Holly's question as well, mm -hmm. um, Holly Massey asked if the flavour dicing sugars and the cocoa powders are vegan. Yes, they yes. are. All our sugars are suitable for vegetarians, vegans, and uh, for a halal diet. There is no alcohol in any of our flavours. So even though we say we've got gin and tonic, prosecco, peach bellini, pina colada, they're just made up. So they're like a mocktail. Um, so there's no alcohol at all. All the sugars are white in colour unless you order a chocolate one. So if you order anything with chocolate apart from the white chocolate, if it says white chocolate, that tells you itself it's white chocolate. But if it doesn't, it says chocolate, it's brown in colour. And the cinnamon swirl is a beige colour. And then come Christmas, we will be bringing out the apple crumble and that's a beige colour as well. So let me just turn the mixer back on. So we're just mixing it so it forms a dough. Just gonna do this. So just mix it so it forms a dough. Let's get my scraper again. And then we're gonna come to the messy bit. So for who's just joined us now, we are making biscuits using Karen Davies moulds. We're using Karen Davies recipe, but I've adapted it so that it, you can use it with the sugar and crumbs flavoured icing sugars. Because, you know, what we're all about here is about, about promoting my own company, Sugar and Crumbs. We're a new company. And when I say new, we've actually been going four years. But, you know, it takes you nearly four years to get your name out there. And uh, lots of people who come to the shows know who we are. And then I needed to you know, try and get it out there to the public. So we introduced our products via Hobbycraft and um, I started doing Facebook Lives so that you could get to know a little bit more about our products, get to know a little bit more about the staff who work for us and, um, and see what we're all about. And also learn how to use the sugars. They're not just for making buttercream. So here we're making um, biscuits. I've moved my notes because I've got lots of things to tell you. I'll just move those out of the way. So, sorry Maria, are we over here? Any problems with your new camera setup? So all we're going to do now is get the dough. I'm just going to scrape it out the bowl. So if you wonder, all the newbies, if you wonder 
who Maria is. Maria comes in and she actually films what we're doing in the kitchen so that not everybody wants to watch an hour or an hour and a half of Facebook Live. She condenses it. So whatever we're making, she makes into a one minute video. So already, have you seen that moth orchid video that she's done for Marion who was in on Monday? Down to one minute is absolutely beautiful. So she's so clever. She's never allowed to go back to Spain. I'm taking her passport off her. So, <laughs> so the rest of the flour, we're gonna put onto our baking board. Yeah. So, and then we're just gonna drop that onto it. And I think I've got everything out of the bowl. So I think Maria's having a bit of problems with her camera angles. So we're just gonna make sure we get every bit because we don't wanna waste it because it could be a cookie, couldn't it? With a little biscuit. We don't wanna do that. So we're gonna put that over there, Maria, sorry. I might get my gloves on because this is the messy bit. As I say, we sell the gloves on the website. We've always sold them on the website. They're really quite handy, really. And then we're going to knead in. So we're just going to knead it in until all the flour is incorporated. Yeah. So the recipe is 200 grams of unsalted butter. 200 grams of unsalted butter, 200 grams of flavoured icing sugar. You can use granulated and you can add liquid flavouring if you wish, but it's so much nicer with sugar and crumbs and that's what we're here for, to tell you how to use sugar and crumbs products. We're using blueberry flavour today. It takes a little bit getting, all the, getting it all incorporated, but we will get it all in. So it's 200 grams of um, butter, 200 grams of flavoured icing sugar of your choice, you mix them in the bowl. So mix the butter first. It's got to be softened butter, so it's got to be room temperature. Then you add the sugar, chop it in before you start mixing it. Once you've done that, add the egg, okay? One, one egg, I've used one large egg, and then you beat the egg and pour that into the mix. Just add that and then half of the 400 grams of plain flour. And the other half goes onto the worktop here and we're just gonna mold it all in. So it will go in, don't worry. Just takes a few minutes. I did this for the first time, this recipe last night. Laura, do you wanna say something? Or you're on camera action. Laura's got so much equipment behind her, she's looking seriously worried. <laughs> and I don't know whether that's because she needs to ask me a question or she's mortified with this new camera equipment. <laughs> so uh, it's really quite funny in here, really. So, uh, which way you can tell why John went to work and thought, oh God, no, I'm not doing it. So we're just going to keep moulding this in until we get all the flour incorporated. Um, just a quick question from Catherine Harris asking about where she can buy the board that you're using. Right, this is mat. not a board, it's um, a silicone mat. It's the largest silicone mat that we have. Um, I've always had them, um, I've always had one myself, but I've never put it on show until a couple of weeks ago because I sometimes worry about the price of things and think, oh, you know what, people aren't gonna spend that amount of money for it. But it's £32.50, it should be 39.99, but I think I've got it on the website for 32 or £33.50. It's massive. It's got lots of things on it. It says amount of almond and sugar paste required when you're, when you're making your own sugar paste. It's got all the ingredients, what's it got here? It's got a size guide over here in this corner. It's got top tips. It's got metric tables in the other corner. And the important thing in the middle here, it's got the rollout. So you can actually roll out to um, 50, 20 inches. So if you need to cover a 20 inch cake, you can roll out to that. So when it's going in, so it takes a little while guys. We've got to get it all in. Making me wonder whether my butter wasn't softened or not. I did this last night, I'm sure it was a bit quicker, but I was talking to somebody as well. The thing when you go live is you get these little problems and you think, how are you going to solve them? So I'm just going to sit here and just worry about it, keep needing, so hold on. <laughs> I do feel confident it will all go in, <laughs> even though I'm getting seriously hot in the kitchen here. So Laura can keep asking the questions. Apparently, Marie, you are the silent hero. 
She is silent here now. That's why I've taken her passport off her live and telling her that. She never allowed to go back home to Spain. She's staying here. <laughs> we can't live without her. She saves us. Honestly, she's so good. I am joking when I say I'm taking her passport off her by her way. Please do not take that seriously. You do have your passport, don't you, Maria? Good. Just to let you know, she does own it, as I'm just whipping her. <laughs> we've got a brother as well. A brother works in the warehouse, but we don't, we've not took his passport off him. He can go home. <laughs> there, look, it's finally going in. Crikey, I'll have muscles at the end of this. <laughs> Sam Foreman said, anyone else feel they need to have a lottery win just to buy everything? I'm a total addict. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Sam. I was chatting to Sam this weekend. So, uh, right, so we finally got there. So it hasn't let me down. It has done it. I was seriously concerned. You know when you go live and things aren't happening, I think, I think you expect it to happen a lot quicker. And I'm like, oh, my God, I've done something wrong here. So... Now it is crumbly, and Karen does say it's a crumbly mix. So I feel as though this is ready. Right, there you go. So are we on there? Yes. So they can see. Right, I'm just going to take my gloves off for a minute. And I'm just going to go and tie my hair up because the wind's blowing and push my hair in my face. I'll just go and wash my hands up in a minute. Um, quick question, Michelle Carter said, does it need to do a soft knead or can it be more vigorous? I don't know, how strong you are. <laughs> don't particularly care. <laughs> so just a minute, wash your hands. That's a good question, that a soft knead or a vigorous one? I've no idea. But um, maybe I was being a bit soft with it there. So you do need some extra flour. What are you doing, Maria? I thought it was waving at me. What is that a new sign? <laughs> so funny being in here, you know. You know, and if you ever come into the kitchen, I know some of you and the audience have been in here. You come in and you've just got these lot. And I'm supposed to understand what it means. John's the weirdest one at doing the signals behind the camera. And you see me looking at him like that. Like, what's going on? That's when he's not walking up and down to the fridge grazing. So we're going to just leave that there for a moment. And you'll see that I've just got a couple of the moulds. So you may see them on the camera or not see them on the camera. So we're just going to give them a good dusting. Before any of you have heart attack, don't worry, we are tipping this out. But we just want to make sure it gets all in the little crevices. So some of you have already got Karen Davies moulds. Have a look at what you've got, but also consider buying some more because he wants to do some business today. So, <laughs> so and I'll tell you which ones we're using. This is the sequin mould, piped roses. I'll show you afterwards. And then I'll show you each of the biscuit. This one's um, the peony, a large rose. So with the peony, you get the leaf, you get the bud, which is the centre. So you make that and stick that in there. I think you do. Then this is the rose. Now we will have some breakages because when I go live, everything always breaks. But let's not panic. So we're just going to give everything a dusting. Who's on it here? We know Laura. Uh, it's Jane Temple. Hi, Jane. Um, oh, I must thank Jane. Jane, um, my royal wedding cake for um, ITV Live. They, they asked, they asked um, cake bakers and they asked me a week last Friday would I do my take on a royal wedding cake. Then I had to come back with a name. I, I couldn't think of a name. Neither could Laura, neither could Maria, neither could John. So I had to put it on the convenient community and Jane Temple came up with the name when Harry uh, wed Meghan. And it was so funny. I don't, I don't know whether any of you read this in the press, but they did a cocktail. Was it a cocktail that they made? They made a cocktail called When Harry Wed Meghan, and our cake was named the same, so that was great. So thank you, Jane, for that name. Right, so we've done our brushing. So I'm just going to tap them out. So make sure you tap them out. Don't leave that flour in. So give them all a tap. I've got 
Lovely. Someone asking, does the dough need to rest in the fridge? It's going to. It's going wait. to. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'll get there in the end. It doesn't need to rest in the fridge at the moment, though. <laughs> I did think that when I was following Karen's recipe last night. I thought, I'm sure it's going to rest in the fridge first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a bit of the dough off. Now, I have taken my gloves off, and I'm sorry about this, but I just can't work with gloves on, so I'm not pushing it into my nails, which is good. So we're just going to form it into the teddy bear. So we're going to form it into the teddy bear. Make sure you get his little ears in. So any of you who say I've got nail varnish on, I haven't got nail varnish on. I've actually got acrylic nails on. And to be fair, I don't care. I'm not going to take them off for a demo. And as I don't make cakes professionally for anyone, and I only make them for us in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, I don't feel I need to worry about it. And when I invite my family and friends round for tea, I don't gown myself up and start putting taking my nails off. So this is in our own home, like it is in your home. So we've got Mr. Teddy Bear there. So we're just going to drop him out. And I've lost an ear, told you we'd lose something. But anyway, we've lost one ear, don't worry. Let's get a bit more. He's quite a big biscuit, him. So we're just going to have a little bit less there. Push that one around. So it's a bit boring me showing you all of them, but I need to show you all of them. So Laura, why don't you just why don't you just leave the camera on there? Could you just go make some room in the fridge, please? Okay. So we're on the Santa camera. I need two shelves. Are we on these kinds of cameras? Yeah. So I need two shelves free. Just take everything out of the fridge. I'm just gonna that's just a little bit too much. So roll it up again. Push it all in, make sure you get it pushed in everywhere. So while I'm doing this, let's talk about a few other things. Um, where's my notes a moment? Get my notes. Let's talk about a few things so that we're just not talking about that. Okay, so I want to say a big thank you to Marion who was here from Patchwork Cutters on Monday. I should remember to thank all our guests when they come here. So Marion was here and she did that moth orchid and she did the clematis and she did the nursery block which was amazing so well done to marion for that and then um, the facebook community so those people who are watching on the page if you're not a member of the community do pop over and join it is great okay and those people who are on the community i'm very keen about you keeping it nice okay now this world's a horrible world as it is so in a group can we just keep it nice and if you see anybody with any negativity or anything like that, just tell them, let's go back to nice. If you've got nothing nice to say, don't say it. It's just not worth it. Um, you know, there's people out there that they do baking because they're not professionals. They make mistakes, you know, and they go on there and they're really chuffed with their creative bake. And then, you know, it may not be as perfect as yours. It may not be brilliant, but you know what? It's good to them. So, you know, just help them along and tell them. You don't have to tell them it's amazing, it's fantastic, you love it. But you know what, give them a little love heart, give them some positivity, help them. There's people on there that, you know, they've never made anything, they've just tried something the first time. And do remember, you yourself tried something the first time. So remember what it was like when you tried something. And if you were perfect at cake decorating and baking, the first time well how good is that but you know what you would have been rubbish at something else in your life and you would have needed support so maybe you might have been rubbish at sport or swimming or something you know just think about it we've all had times where we've had challenges put in front of us and it's just nice to have a little bit of a well done a pat on the back and um, self-promotion no self-promotion on the group so you can't be asking people to like your page and i'll tell you why that is Facebook has a thing that if you start asking everyone to like your page, after about 50 likes, so let's say me, I went on and liked about 50 pages, Facebook will block me. 
and it can block me for 24 to 48 hours because they see me as a spammer. So that's why I don't want that. Yes, it does work, but if you do read on groups, you'll find that a lot of people have been kicked off and it's simply because of that reason, okay? And then promoting. If you see a product, you want to promote it, you know, if you've used a product, feel free. Now, a lady promoted this product the other day. So, Nikki Sissons, I think it was. So, she promoted this product the other day. I don't mind you promoting products on the website. I really don't want you to promote other companies where you buy from. And it's simply because I'm funding this page. So, I'm funding it with, you know, me, Maria, paying the staff to help uh, look after the page. And, you know, I just like if we can, if I sell that product and I'd really like it, go back to myself. You don't have to buy off me, I'm not saying that. But as, I'm, as it is the Sugar and Crumbs community, I'd like to be given an opportunity that is that product on our page. If it's not, ask me if I can stock it, bring it in. But I really don't want to see other suppliers on there. And I also, the biggest thing I don't want to see on there is I do not want to see any copy sellers. So if you've got anything that you have bought from AliExpress that's a, a copy, you know what, send me the picture and I'll tell you whether it's got a patent to it or not, okay? But if somebody owns that design, I do not want it on our group, okay? So I don't want to see any Karen Davies fake moulds on there and, you know, they are about. I don't want to see any Katie Sue's on there. I don't want to see anybody's copies on there. It's not fair. FMN cutters, I don't want to see any of them. So I'm not going to do all this because it's going to take me all day while I'm talking to you. So I'm just going to get these out. We'll put these on the tray. And I'll do a few at a time while we're going along. So hopefully you all understand where I'm coming from. Does that all make sense? Is there any comments about that, Laura? No, just people saying that it's actually a lovely group, some really good support on there. Um, and everyone's very happy to share their tips and things and, and positivity And that's what it's about, really. You know, it's about sharing your pictures, your ideas, giving people inspiration, sharing your recipe. You know, if you've had a delivery from us, take a picture. Not from anybody else, but from us. <laughs> so, um, so there's a couple of the um, biscuit moulds I've used. What have I not used there? So I've not used this one. So let's do this one. Let's see if I can pull them all out. So, so I hope, I hope you don't mind. I think the rules are fairly simple. And you know, I've been on other forums and I've seen rows go on there. Why? You know, life's short. Why are we having a big row over a frigging cake? There's no need to be. You know, let's just, let's just keep it nice. If it can't be nice, leave. Simple. Anyhow, the other thing is, I do want to show you, but I've got to practice. I had a lovely lady in here this week who showed us how to make sugar paste with our flavoured icing sugar. Pink lemonade, Nikki Shelvin. So, um, thank you, Nikki. I know she's watching. So, um, Maria has videoed her, and, uh, well, videoed her hands anyhow. And we're going to do a little video on um, how to make sugar paste with our flavoured icing sugar. And I have to say, a few people have asked me before, can you make it? And I said, I have heard people make it, but I've never made it myself. So I don't really know. But Nikki came along, she brought plenty of samples and it is gorgeous. Okay, there's a few tricks as well. So if you, you know, you might need a bit more gum tag. If it's not strong enough, you might need to add a bit more liquid glucose. But I'm sure when you put posts up, when, when Maria does it, uh, puts the video up, I'm sure that if any of you ask questions, Nikki would be more than happy to answer them. So what cake have we not got here then? I've got this one. Uh, let me just see. What cake have we not got? What biscuit have we not got? So, uh, hope you're not too bored, guys. Everything's all all right. Are, we all, are they all still there? Yeah, yeah. there's lots, of, lots of people still here. Um, Christy Nolan, we do sell gift vouchers. Um, I'm not sure if they're on the website as a product at the moment, but you can drop us a message and we can sort it out for you. Yeah. If you, drop, if you drop a message to Laura, or if you drop it to our Facebook page, um, or you can actually email Laura and phone us, okay? But if you, want to, if you want to email Laura, and for people who are abroad, I don't know if there's anybody in America, I get loads of requests from people in America they can't buy off our website. And the reason you can't buy is, is that because it's got to go across air, 
The product isn't just a standard postage. It's not like we can say, oh, it's $7.99 postage or something. Basically, it goes by weight and volumetric size, is it, Laura? Yeah. So, like, I've just sent a, a parcel to my daughter in Australia. I've actually had to take the packaging off everything um, to get it into the box. And what did it cost us in the end? A certain bit. How much was it? About £60. It's about £60. And uh, all I've done is I've sent her a hairdryer that she left behind. She ordered a Hoover hose for her Henry. Had to send that. My granddaughter left a dress behind, socks and other things, but it cost me £60 to get it there. I do only do a track service because things take a long time to get to other countries. And then I get people messaging me, where's the parcel? And they get panicky. And if I can't track it, then I can't tell them where it is. So paying for a track service, you will pay a bit more. So those people who are in America, well, anywhere outside of Europe, lost a bit of that biscuit, but we won't worry. He's big enough as it is. Um, anybody who's outside of Europe, if you just message me, I can let you know how much postage is. You just need to tell me what it is that you would like. That you would like. I'll get my words out in a minute. Right, okay, so I think that will do for now. And I'll come back to that. So let me just go and get a board. Two sheets. In fact, the sheets are here. Here. So all we're going to do now is lift them up and put them on the tray. So I'm just going to put the thinner ones on this tray because they'll bake a bit quicker. I am going to use all the recipe, all the biscuit up afterwards, but I'll make it up afterwards. Laura, do you want to pass me some cling film? Out the drawer behind you. So just spread them out. You can actually put more on there. If anybody wants to know what these are, they're these. Okay. So they're these. They're called Baco Baco mats. Let's see if we can get this one out of here. So I don't know which camera you want, Laura. So they're called Baco mats. They do go off colour when you use them because they go in the other oven, but they're great. They're washable. You can reuse them. If you've got the macron ones, you can use those as well. So, you know, those aren't just for macrons. You can use them as your baking sheets. You'll notice I've cut these because I've cut them to the size of my um, flat tin that I've got in there. So let me just see. I'll put that over there, can't wait. Right. No, no film. Oh, I'll do. It's only just so I can back this mould. Okay, let's put these on here. These, because these are bigger ones, I just know that when they go in the oven, I'm going to put them in for a bit longer. So, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to put these in the fridge for 15 minutes. So the lady who asked, do we need to chill them? This is when they get chilled. Yeah, so just hang on a second while I run around to the fridge. Laura. Laura. We don't need to come by yet. Guys, hope you a minute. Come on, let me show you a backdrop of my back when I'm going in the fridge. But Laura's been told under no circumstances that she to do that today. Just let me wash my hands a moment, maybe as well. So brilliant, thank you. So can I have that tempo, Laura? So I'm just going to wrap up the rest of the um, dough and I'll use it afterwards. So after this slide, I'll actually do the rest of them and then put them out. You're not going to want to sit and watch and do all of them all together. So let me clean up my little top. So it's 11.47, so 15 minutes in the fridge and they take about 15, 20 minutes um, in the oven. Now, the thinner they are, the less time they take, yeah? Uh, the thicker they are, the longer they take. I will tell you, on the baking sheet, I've just told you, they do take a little bit longer. And I think that's because, um, I think when it's on parchment paper and it's on the pan, um, the heat from the pan is sort of crisping them up a bit quicker. So uh, let me just get this out of the way. Okay, 
Cat oh, Rider did say that she's coloured her biscuits before, but people actually seemed a bit dubious of yeah. them. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think coloured biscuits look right in my mind. I wouldn't be too keen on having a full coloured biscuit. Um, I think biscuits should look like a biscuit. So these are the ones that we did earlier. Let me get rid of the cloth. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, get some bones. I'm going to get these. I'm just going to get some of these. Let's see if we can use them. Yeah, we can use that one. So I'm just going to clean these out a minute just so that we can use these for some sugar paste toppers. The good thing with dusting these with flour or with um, a bit of icing sugar, not icing sugar for the cookies, but if you're going to use them for your um, cakes, for your, for your sugar paste toppers, they do, you don't need to keep washing them, you can just reuse them. So, um, if you are enjoying it today, I'd like you to do a few like and shares for me. So, afterwards, when we finish this tutorial, uh, Facebook Live, please like the page afterwards, please share it. And the biggest um, thing that you could do for me is go over to YouTube, because Mar Laura, uh, Maria will put it on YouTube this afternoon. When it's live on YouTube, even if you don't want to watch it again, just give us the thumbs up for it. You do have to subscribe with your email address. Um, that's just so that YouTube know that you're a genuine subscriber, not somebody just going pinging along. But it would really help if you just press that button for us and build up our YouTube um, audience. So for those who've just joined us, I've already snapped one biscuit. Are we down here? Yeah, yeah I've snapped one biscuit, so we're just going to snap it again so that you can tell it's got a nice crunch on it. Did you get that, Marie? Yeah, so it's got a nice biscuity crunch. So they're ours to scoff. And then we're just going to quickly decorate a couple of them. Yeah, so let's put a couple of these on. And let's just use some of the dust to decorate them with. So some of the dust that we're going to use is, um, I've got a lovely pink there. So this one is called Petal Pink. So I'm just gonna, anything that's out of camera, Laura, let me know, will you? Yeah, okay. Got a lovely Petal Pink. Um, we've got a Dusty Pink as well. That's a little bit too much. We've got a dusty pink as well. Let's use some of this gold, sparkling gold. If you want to know what sugars I'm using, uh, what co what colours I'm using, I'm using the um, sugar, um, uh, the colour splash range, and I'm using the fractal range. So sorry, I only need a bit. So I just get them out. Always put them in the lid because if you put them in the lid, you can put them back into the container. Okay, if you. Um, if you don't put them in the lid and you put them in a dish, then you usually can't use them again. It's a bit difficult to try and get them out the dish. So let me just see what we've got here. So let's just have a little play with these. I don't like that one. Let's try and give some a bit of a shine. And then we're going to decorate some cake toppers. So then when you get your brush, when you come to clean your brushes, um, when you've used powdered um, powders, don't wash them in water. Have yourself a little bowl of corn flour and then just, um, or even like we'll use this plain flour here. So just dab your brush in the flour and just clean your brush that way. I'm just gonna sit down. And then what we can do is we can just Do a little bit of the centre, just on our biscuits. So we'll just make it a bit darker in the centre there. And then you can just dab your brush. If you get a bit of kitchen roll, don't press that kitchen roll there. So any excess, dab onto your kitchen roll if you want to. If you've got too much on, press on here. 
So I'm hoping you can see and I'm not going out of camera. No, you won't. And then what we can do is we can just brush the end of them, give them a bit of colour. I think that's probably a better way to sort of colour them up. Maybe I should have done that as a bit of a yellow, I don't know. But just go over the edges. Give them a bit of a dusting like that. And then that way people won't be too scared to eat it. They won't feel as though they're having all those colours shoved down the throat. I think it'll look like a normal biscuit. Here on the teddy bear, what we can do is we can just do them a couple of bit of rosy cheeks. They lost an ear, by the way. <laughs> there it is. Don't worry. He's going to be scoffed in a minute, so don't worry about him. <laughs> okay. We'll do a little bit of dusting in his ear. We can go a bit mad and colour his eyes in if we want to. And then this one, let's use a bit of the gold. Yes, I've just put the same brush. doesn't really matter. And we're just going to take a bit of the gold on here, brush a bit of this on. This is all edible colours, by the way, that I'm using here. So if you just want to bling your biscuits up a little bit, bling on this gold. This is lovely, this gold. I don't know how well you can see it in it's the camera. It's just, just about picking up a bit of a is shimmer. It? it does look nicer here. I'll try and put a bit more on. How can you see it on your camera, Maria? Can you probably get it for the video, do you think? And um, just while you're doing that, Carol, um, yeah. Deb has asked, can they go on lolly sticks? Yes, they can. Okay. So the lolly sticks you need to put in, so when you take them out the mould, you need to push your lolly stick into the back straight away. I think there were, if you wanted to do, me personally, I know Karen puts a lolly stick in and then it's just one on there. I would actually put two flowers back to back. And the other thing is, I'd be really very careful is, especially with the big ones, you know, one bite, it is a biscuit. So one bite and then it might just break off. I haven't tried it myself, but that would be my concern that, you know, one big bite of the biscuit and then, um, let's just do that in the middle there. So as we go around, so you notice there's a bit darker there. So we're just gonna go around and luster it up with that gold. Yeah. Does that pull it together yeah. more? It's lovely. Yeah, so just always darker in the centre and then the excess just goes off. So, um, Laura, can you have a look at my box if there's a, a yellow there for me, please? Um, can you just remind the brands of the colours, the different colours right. that you use? So the colours that we're using is this colour splash range. This is beautiful, okay? We're going to use some other colours shortly. So we're using this colour splash range and we're also using the fractal colours, okay? Um, this one's golden shine and this one is sparkling gold and it really does sparkle, look at that. Really does sparkle, it's absolutely lovely. Super. And uh, we've got a purple there as well. So we've got a pearl yellow here. So let's just do the yellow. Yeah, the violet would be nice as well. So let's just get the violet there and uh, we'll use the pearl purple actually I like things that bling twinkle sure must have been a magpie in the suit in my previous life so we'll use so we're going to use the purple the petal the dusky pink and one of the gold so let's get a brush so for the yellow let's do a couple of these so let's just do a couple of edges round here. So you can, you, you only need to be rough, you know, you don't need to be all delicate. It all blends in together. Can you see that on the camera yeah. there, Laura? Yeah. It doesn't all need to blend, blend in. Don't worry about excess, we'll sort that out in a minute, okay? This is about, so you professionals who are having a nosy at the moment, stop having a heart failure, okay? We're talking to people who can't bake or a novice and they just want to have a go. So we're going to do that one. Do a couple of pinks round here. Um, these brushes we do sell on the on the website. The purple ones are out of stock. I've still got a few blue ones. I think they're two ninety nine a set for ten brushes, which is quite good. So we'll have a couple of those pink ones round here. 
Um, Tina Pine's just asking, do we sell the Karen Davies fruit mould? We do. It's yes. on our website. We've got loads of moulds. I actually don't know how many we've got. I think we've got about 40, haven't we? A lot. Loads of them. <laughs> Is it the, if, I'm assuming it's the tropical fruit it's one. It's the tropical fruit. Asking. It's called tropical fruit. And Karen is coming back with us in a few weeks. She's on holiday at the moment in Italy, enjoying herself. But um, I've just been talking to her, so I want her to come back to do a full demo on the fruit moulds and the um, pineapple and the mermaid. So she's going to come back and do something with that. And then in here, so where's my other brush that I used before? So then get yourself a big dusting brush, okay? So I sell this as well. I don't, I don't know what that is. I think that's possibly two ninety nine. So just give the excess a quick wipe off, and then we're going to go over there on the gold, put a bit of bling on, and just gold it up. And if you want to get really funny and do a couple of little centres. You could do your yellow inside your pink. Do that. And just have fun, just sit here and play. Don't worry about it, they're all gonna look good. You know what, when you give them to your friends, they're gonna think you're amazing. Yeah? And then uh, for, the, for the pink there, which brush did I use for the pink? Just to brush that off. For the pink, just stick a little bit of pink in there. You can do any color you want. Don't panic about it, it's all meant to be relaxed. Enjoy doing it with the kids, have fun. Yeah? And then here, yeah, my doggies in the background. The doggy walker's here today, taking them all out. So that's little Chip who's getting all excited. So just have fun with them. We've got the lilac here as well. So let's do the lilac on this one. So again, we're just gonna put the, the darkest lilac in the middle. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about it. So we're just going to put the dark lilac in the purple. And you know, you don't have to colour these biscuits. Leave them as biscuits. People will be just really chuffed and amazed at how you've created these flower biscuits. You don't need to tell them how you've done it. Just let them think how wonderful you are. So and Brain's I, also just recommended to you know, use you know, the, um, the glitter puff pumps. Yeah, I've got the glitter puff really pumps. Nice. Yeah, I've got nice them behind finish. me. I shall grab a few of those. Just hang on a minute. Sorry, are you getting them, Maria? Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, you can leave them plain if you want to, or you can dust them up if you want to. You can do what you want with them. It's entirely up to you. It's your biscuit. Do what you like. You don't have to do what anybody else tells you. It's about enjoying yourself in your own kitchen, doing your own thing, yeah? Do you agree with that, guys? That's how I work. And I never worry about anybody being negative about whatever I'm doing, and I get a lot of negativity. Uh, I get more positivity than negativity, but unfortunately, you can have 98% positivity and you get two people on who's quite negative and it can upset you all day. And I've just learned, you know what, don't let it upset you. You know, if that, they're just having a bad day and feel sorry for them for not being positive. So, the little the little dust displays, sprays that we've got, that, um, who was it who just said? Sabrine. Sabrine. Okay, we've got these in some fabulous colours and I'll tell you which companies they are. They are all on our website. And let's see, so we've got House of Cake. They've got this lovely gold colour silver and i think this one is their uh, rose color and this is their blush so those are lovely colors and you just pump those on and this one is sugar flare they've got the extreme gold look at that blue can you imagine squirting that onto the side of your cake okay and we've also got the violet shimmer um, personally, I wouldn't use these to just go straight onto a fondant cake. If you pump these straight onto a fondant cake, you'll come down the next morning and half of it will have fell off, okay? These are for just pumping over the cake. So decorate your cake, do your sugar paste, okay? Colour your sugar paste, and then this is to give a nice little um, pump of colour over. So let's try this purple one here. And we'll also have a look at these sparkling sugar crystals as well so because I've used purple on here let's do this one 
just quickly show you how it works. So give it a shake. Let's get the pump action going. Yeah, oh look, can you see all that glitter on there? Pretty enough. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it on the camera very well? You might have to just tip the biscuit a little bit just so we can catch the light. Can you see it very well? You can see it here. I don't want to put too much on because I don't want to... Just about. Just about <laughs> see it. Well, it's very sparkly here, anyhow, this side. Um, we could go, man, let's go and look at the gold. Do the gold. I'll tell you, they'll be well coloured, these biscuits. <laughs> Sound we finish. So we could do the gold. Give that a sparkle. I don't know whether you can see that. And then we've got these, um, oh, these sugars are for the side of your cake, by the way. So you can't use them on here. They're for the sugar paste, but just so you can see how they glisten. Let me just open one of these up as well. So have my biscuits been in the fridge for 15 minutes, Laura? Do we think? Yeah. I would say so, aren't they? So let me go and get my biscuits out. Let me just give this to Maria while she opens that. And I'll get my biscuits out and pop them in the oven. this up now and let's do some sugar base so the biscuits are in the oven so for anybody who's just joined us we've just been playing with these so let me take my broken ones off from here to eat I'm nibbling those don't want them ruining our display so there you go Laura don't crunch too near the camera because they'll hear you okay so we've got biscuits here this is what we've made today we're making biscuits using the Karen Davies recipe which we've modified to include our sugars, yeah? So those are the ones that have not been coloured. Can you hold one of the coloured ones up to the camera, please? I'm put it on this plate, just give oh. me a moment. Do oh, you mean to see, yes, see, you see the glitter? Oh. Can you see? Not, no? Not great. Not Can I hold it with my finger still? Is it not showing very well? No, no, no it's just okay. a bit of light, unfortunately. Oh, Sorry, Laura, we tried. Does this one show? No. So if I put a shadow over oh, it. Oh, oh, just about. Just about? Yeah. I think it's the sun coming in from yeah. that window, the light coming in from that window. Yeah, we can just it? about get that metallic shimmer. We yeah. can just about see it. Okay, so we've got those. So let me put those on the plate there, out the way. So that is our biscuits, okay? So those are the ones I made last night. We're just playing with those. And then let's start playing with some sugar paste, cake toppers, yeah? Again, using the Karen Davies mold. So we're gonna use some dummy cakes. Now we're gonna use some dummy cakes for two reasons. I am on a diet. <laughs> I am on a diet. And um, on, on uh, Mondays and Thursdays, I fail miserably with my diet and scoff everything. And I'm trying really hard not to. And I'm going on a class tomorrow and I just know that I will be eating sugar paste. So I've got to try really hard, get myself in the zone and uh, try not to. So let me just, uh, where's my damp cloth? So what did I do with my damp cloth so I clean this? In the sink, by any chance. So those went in the oven at seven minutes past 12. Six minutes past twelve. Is it in the sink, my damp cloth? Yeah. Okay, leave these pots open. That's what I like. Nice soggy cloth. <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying. So let's clean it off the mat. Okay. So it has cleaned off the mat quite well. And then we're going to have a spray and a bit of a colour with some other colours. So I just want to show you some other goals that we've got. Okay. So let's get some sugar paste. Do you want to put that back in there? Can you just give it a wash as well? Give it a wiggle. So I'm just going to sit down because my back is killing me. So Karen Davies has her own um, has her own sugar paste, and it's brilliant. I know you all get confused about sugar paste. Which camera am I on, Laura? So I know you all get confused about sugar paste, but there's rolling paste. That's for rolling out and putting it on top of your cake. And there's different brands. There's Renshaw, there's um, Sugar Paste Direct, there is um, Couture. We don't sell Couture. Uh, there's Master Cicino. 
So that's rolling paste to go over your cakes, okay? Then there's, and you can use this, the Karen Daly. It's a little bit more expensive, this one, but it is actually very good, but you have to put a bit more pressure to roll on it, okay? Then there is, um, what else is there? There is flour and modeling paste. So when Marion was in on Monday, when you're making things very, very thin and you want them to set, you must use flour modeling paste. So you can either use the Renshaw or the Squires. We sell both in a good range of colors there. A lot of you got a freebie on Monday because you ordered all eight colors and I gave you a free white one. So uh, that was good. And then there is um, modeling paste, okay? So there's flour and modeling paste and there's modeling paste, which is for your big models. And we use Saraceno for that, which is brilliant. Um, that's got like a cocoa butter in it and it means it doesn't, it goes firm and hard but it also means you could remould it as well. So if you see that you just need to bend his leg a little bit, you can just gently eat, bend the leg. So I've got a bag of icing sugar here. I forgot to bring in a corn flour pouch, so I'm just gonna have to do this this way. So on this bag, by the way, the recipe website is there. You got that, both cameras? So um, how are we doing? Anybody want to ask any questions? Um, oh, sorry, Did, uh, can we just recap the temperature that the biscuits are 140 making fan, 140 fan, and I think that's a two to three on a gas, I'm not sure. You, need, you, you know what you really need to do? You need to just look at the temperature in your oven, put one of those temperature um, thermometers in your oven, and then, you know, and get it to 140. So, I don't know whether that's the right expl explanation or not, but it's 140 fan, and it's a number two on gas and I don't know what it is on just a conventional electric oven. So we're going to use a couple of these moulds here now and you'll just see that I've just dabbed some um, icing sugar there. That's because I didn't bring my uh, corn flour pouch in. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to use icing sugar in here. It doesn't matter whether you use icing sugar or corn flour, um, but you put it into the mould, but you must tap it out. Okay, you must tap it out and you'll see that I've got a bit of flour out of that one as well because otherwise you're going to have it all stuck to your mould and then you've got to try and brush it off your mould. So these are little cake toppers that we're going to make and we'll decorate these up as well. So we're just going to mould it again, we're going to put it into the mould, really very easy, not got quite enough in there, so just put it on top. And I've still gone to, I've still forgot to go and get the purple cupcakes mould. So Laura, if we stay on this camera yeah. here, can you run next door for me? I'm sure I've put them on the table. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, in my other kitchen. I think they're on the table as you first go in. So I'll just send Laura in there. So we'll just do a couple of these and then we're going to paint these up. So I've not got real cake to put them on simply because I'm on a diet and I don't want to eat them. And I know if I make cake, we'll eat them. It's bad enough I've got these biscuits in here, believe me. They smell so good. So all you do, it's so easy. You couldn't get an easier cake topper than these. I've just brought these two into stock. So these are new on the website. They're not new Karen Davies moulds, but I just thought, well, I'll bring some cake toppers in for you guys. I love this sequins one, small sequins. The Karen Davies mould is perfect for her toppers and for her um, mould and any other mould as well. It's got a bit of Tylo in, I think it is, or Gum Tag or CMC. It's all the same, they've just got different names. Gum Tag's a natural product though. So uh, let's just push that in. I'm going to have a bit of a spraying session in a minute. So just push it in, found them great, that's super. So these bad boys are called Foam Balls by Purple Cupcakes and you get six, you can just foam your cakes, you can see I've used them, so they do get a bit discoloured. You can wash them afterwards, so we'll just stick a few of them there. Oops, I'm gone. And then all you're going to do is flip it out go, you can flip it out, 
flip it out, that's how easy they are. You come in, you remould again. We've got the daisy one here. And I just need to find that Delilah. Where's that Delilah one? No, it's not here, it was here. It's the one that had that on it. It was here before, we've used it before. Can you find these kitchen paper? So, could be on the kitchen paper, right? Is it not here? It's a beautiful one, the Delilah. That's what makes that one. So the girls are just looking for the Delilah one. So I'm just going to show you a few, and then I'm going to show you this big new one here. So there's a bit too much sugar paste in there. Do you want to pass me a knife, Laura, please? There's a sharp one behind you. So there's a bit too much sugar paste on here. So just get a knife, take it across. Watch you don't cut your fingers. Doesn't matter if you comes out. Maria, don't put this on video, will you? Me cutting it out like that on the one minute video that I think I was starting to tack my finger. You have to watch a live to know what I was doing there. Just before Maria sees everybody with me with a sharp knife in my hand. Um, I just need to find that mould, that mould was lovely. I don't know what I've done with it. Okay, but anyhow, we've got this mould. This big bad boy here. Let's get this one out for you. Around the side of the cake. They do take a while to get out of the bag. <laughs> This one, this one. I don't know where the Delilah is. Can you see that Delilah one there? Okay, so I don't know where the Delilah one is. By the way, I've brought in the blue piping bags as well. Just notice that these are here. These are in stock, girls. Are you over there? So these are in stock, 100, and um, I think they're 16.99, are they, Laura? 16.99 for 100 non slip bags. So for those of you who are doing your big piping for your meringues and stuff like that then those are in stock. They're not the ones that I rec recommend you use for nozzles though. They're for your big piping. So on here, on these dome cakes, if you just want to shape it slightly, just pop it over your dome. So that could just shape it. So we're just gonna shape it. And this is a bit of a cheap way for getting a dome on your cake. So if you can't get a nice dome on your cake, what you do is you put them on here and then on your flat cake underneath you're going to put a nice little blob of buttercream on and then this because it will have set you leave them there to set yeah so while they're just setting there let's get this one rolled out as well because this is lovely so just let me put a bit more icing sugar on this. And this is called, this one is called, so pretty this one. It's called the Pipe Swirl Border Mold, okay? And it goes with this cupcake topper here. You can use any one you want, really. But this is a, a great one for going around the side of your cakes. So let's get plenty of uh, Karen's um, sugar paste to go in this mold. I'm gonna to have to mold it a little bit. The flavour I'm using today is vanilla. She does two amazing flavours. She does vanilla and she does marshmallow. So anybody who knows me will know why I am not using marshmallow. Because if I use marshmallow, you won't see it. It'll be in my mouth. But I want to do this because I want to do a spray. Use a spray today. So we're going to use some gold glitters. So I just want to use a spray as well so that you can see what it looks like if you wanted to spray your cake. So we're just going to do this. Just going to use some of the icing sugar there. So like I say, normally you would use corn flour because corn flour is not as sticky. But I forgot to bring my corn flour here. So I'm just going to use a bit of the blueberry icing sugar that I was using before just to dust into the mould. Let me pop a little bit more out there. Does anybody want to ask any questions? Um, it doesn't look like there's any questions at the moment, actually. Are you all enjoying today's live? 
feel free to give me the thumbs up if you like. I don't know which camera I'm on. So oh, sorry. <laughs> Is Laura doing a job? I just left you. So I don't know which camera am I on. You're on. I'm on here. <laughs> so um, are you all enjoying it? Yeah. Hope so. It's always free these demos. I don't charge you. I'm not one of those companies that come on and charge you for everything, mainly because I don't think you pay me. But. <laughs> But um, it's more about showing you guys some little hints and tips and dealing with a live person as well. It's not a video that, you know, when Laura, when Maria makes a quick video and then you just see that and then you don't really understand what it's all about. Those, um, video, those videos are great when you've watched the live and then they, they work really well as um, a reminder video. So this, I'm doing all this the wrong way because I haven't brought a roller in the kitchen either. So what we're going to do now is, I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to have to do this the hard way, yeah, so we're just going to start at the mould, and what you do is, you start at the mould, so what I should have done is, rolled it out and made it into a flat pad, so before you all start jumping on, I know what I should have done, but you know what, sometimes we're busy, and we don't think about it, so like I kind of am now, I'm stuck here, I'm live, I've just got to deal with this situation, and we're going to do it this way. And I know you all like it, you like it when I make mistakes, don't you? So, uh... so Jane Temple's asking, can we paint the biscuits? You can. Or, or can you paint the biscuits? Oh, can I paint the biscuits? Yeah, I was going to do one actually, <laughs> Jane. <laughs> when I get to the paint bit, yeah, I'm going to use some gold and bronze paint in a minute. So I've just got to do a bit at a time. How long have our cookies been in the oven? I think they've only been in about 10 minutes, haven't they? So just let me get this in. I'll go and check. I call them cookies because I don't know what to call them. Cookies, biscuits. I've actually named them as biscuits on the website because they are more like a biscuit because they've got a snap. If you do them not so long, I suppose they could be a cookie because... They've not, uh, I've not made them as crispy. So wait a minute. I'm just going to make sure. And Maria's going to go mad because she's got one of the cameras set up on a dummy. So I'm just going to upset her day and find a new stand for it. So, and use this dummy in a minute. So while you're there, Laura, can you just get me out a little bowl of water, please? So with your sugar paste as well, make sure you always wrap it back up. Because you don't want it going hard. Make sure you wrap it up. It's great wrapped up in this paper. Whatever this paper is, she's got it wrapped up and it's good. But then put it into a zip bag. So, uh, Now, if it brought me rolling pin, ladies, which camera are we on, Laura? I'm in the middle one. Right, so if it brought me rolling pin in and been at, I haven't got the tool set in here, if it brought me rolling pin in, you should roll this, okay, but this is just so I can show you the design and that because I'm going to put it on a dummy cake in a minute, just so that we can spray it up, okay, so it's all going to get fairly messy in this kitchen soon and then I'm just going to change, um, the camera mold. So just give me a minute because let me go and check my cookies and then while the girls are showing you the back of the kitchen they can quickly just adjust the camera. Yeah. So before we do that, when you come to take your mold out, so Maria, so before we do that we are just going to peel the mold out. Look how easy that flopped out. That's how good Karen's molds are and how good her paste is. Okay, so that's there now. So I'm just going to go and check the cookies and the girls are going to sort the camera. Won't be a minute. I'm just going to wash my hands as well. Right, 
So, they're not ready yet. And then what we're going to do now is, we are going to get our dummy cakes. Oh, there's the, these are our props, yeah? So these are our props. Oh, look at that, cake board and all, look at you. So this is a cake card, if anybody knows. So where's that water gone? There it is. Just gonna put the water in there, stick that on. Now, I wouldn't normally just stick it on with water, but I've got nothing else to stick it on. So I'm just going to just put a bit of water. So just imagine this is your, your covered cake. So you've got your buttercream on now, and your buttercream is nice and wet. Okay, now you can put a thin coat of um, sugar paste if you want, or you can go straight onto your buttercream. It's entirely up to you. But all we're doing, we're just doing this so that I can use some of the paints in a minute. Can you bring that forward a bit, please? Perfect. Right, so which camera are we on, Laura? The middle. So we're on here, okay. So we're just bringing it so it sits on here. Now we're not decorating a cake here, girls. This is for me to show you how to use, how to make the mould and we're going to paint it. So it's mainly about us showing you about some of the gold glittery colours. Okay, so that's on there. So look at that. Makes a nice border. And if this was on a real cake, I would have lifted it up so that, that this comes to the top and then underneath I'd be piping some little swirly bits just to fill in the bottom or put a ribbon on or something. Okay. So this is not me decorating a cake. Which camera are we on, Laura? Middle. So this is not me decorating a cake. This is for me to show you this mould. So make sure you get your information right. So we're going to put that there. I'm going to get rid of that water. And then we're going to start painting a few things. Yeah, so let's get that there for a moment. And then let's get these. So when you've used these on your, on your cake, on your, they've set, They've probably not set long enough yet so you leave them all to set okay then you get your cupcake and I'll just pass those so everything I'm showing you here we sell on our website so we get our dummy cake so these are great if you want to do some display cakes so we get our dummy cakes now these have got a dome in them already so let me just pop those out of the way so these have got a dome in them already but if you've got flat cakes, what you would do now, so your cake's flat, you'd put a spoonful, which camera am I on, Laura? So if you've got a flat cake now, you would put a spoonful of buttercream on, okay? And then you would get your topper that's set. Can you see it's set in that dome effect? So are we on here? Into the middle, yeah. So you see how it's already set? If we put it on there, you can see it's already set, yeah? It's not perfect yet so you can see they've all got that little dome effect yeah. and then you let's say we're talking about let's say you've got a proper flat cake put a spoonful of buttercream on okay and then sit your domed cake your dome topper onto the buttercream and just gently round it off so easy if you've got a domed cake okay all you need to do is a thin coat of buttercream and then put your cake topper on so as we're using dummy cakes, we're going to do these. And I'm just going to clean up some of this icing sugar, I think. So could I have that lovely cloth back, Laura? So let's get those out of the way. And um, someone did say that we possibly the domes are out of stock at the moment, but I'll need to double check. I don't, I'm not, I don't think they are out of stock. I, th I think we've just had a delivery today. So as soon as we finish this live, I'll double check I may not have updated it, so I'll go and update it, yeah. But uh, I'm sure I've had a delivery today. I've got a notification and uh, to say that the delivery was on the way, so I may not have updated the website properly last night. So let's just get those malt out of the way. That's them. And then let's get to painting them, yeah. So we're going to use a couple of the paints those there. So we're going to use this, let me use my kitchen roll here because I'm going to have to start spraying on this mat soon. So we'll just move those out of the way and I just need to get some of that there just so I don't cover all my mat. Where can we see in the camera Laura? You can see, see all of them. See all of them? Yeah. Right that's great. 
So, paint. There we go. So I'm using the colour splash bronze, bronze, gold and silver. Okay. I've sold them, I sell them individually and I sell them as a set of three, as a trio. So you get a nice little discount as a trio. And what we're going to do is we are just going to get our brush. So we'll get the pink and we'll do some pink roses. So let's just do some pink there. Let's just stop it. So we'll just do some little centers of the roses. So just do them a bit darker in the center. And then just take the excess off just to go around and do your edges and then we'll throw these up again in a minute so we're back to this daisy one so in this daisy one we'll do a couple of these do a couple with pink one second Shade. Um, so the dummy cakes, they're, they're depending on the size of them is the price, isn't it? So the dummy cake price depends on the size. Yeah, in the dummy cakes, if you want to buy dummy cakes, I think we do them from a size 6 up to a size 12, but the depth of them vary. They de the depth is anything from 3 inch, 4 inch and 5 inch. I think 5 inch is the biggest, isn't it, that we've got. Is it Laura? Um, Can you remember? I can't remember. So we're just going to put some sensors in there. Then let's get the yellow. Let's just do some yellow edges. I'll have to check my biscuits again in a minute. They're fine. They take a bit longer on those silicone mats. So you don't have to be really neat with these. Yeah, don't get your knickers in a twist about them. There we go, there's that one. This one, we're just gonna uh, spray this one. And um, let's get the silver paint now. So we'll get the silver paint for this one and just do some edges. So make sure you give your tub a really good shake. Now I've just poured silver all over my hands. Can I have that fish cloth again? Well there's any chance you can give this cloth a really... I have to keep asking it, it needs a good shake because I picked up all the dough from it before. So we've got the silver, I don't, you can see I didn't pull off the uh, silver topping top very well. So let's just get the silver and we're just going to brush around a couple of the edges for the silver. I don't know how well you can see the silver colour, but you should be able to see it well enough. I'm shaking my calligraphy and I don't know why I'm shaking. I always start shaking on Facebook Live. Quite nerve wracking, but I'm doing my best not to. We'll just do this one. I'm just going to use the gold as well in a moment on this one. I've got very silent in this kitchen. <laughs> I think that's why I've started shaking. So, uh, sorry, let me just get different brush. Just a little bit of gold again. I'm going to do bigger patches of gold in a minute so you can see it but I just want to edge up these. Sorry if I've got the shakes, I don't know how bad you can see my shakes. 
Somebody said to me last week when they got the shake, start eating some sugar. That's the last thing I want to do at the moment, guys, because I'm on a diet. Got three stone to lose, and I just don't know how I'm going to do it. doing is just trimming them up with a little bit of gold. don't know how well you can see the colours on here really. So these are all now baked cakes. These, um, these foam things as well, we sell these as well and they're a fake uh, foam cupcake puffer. So let me just get some more brushes on here one minute. I'm just going to go and check my um, cookies one minute. Uh, no, there's no questions. They are showing up lovely though. You can really see the colours. Are they showing up lovely though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, Rob Allen said, did you use the large Corin Davies teddy mould for the biscuits? I did. Yes. And apparently they can hear the birds in the garden. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're all so quiet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let me just get these out a minute just so you can see. So it's always good to dry, uh, to let things, um, I'll just bring them out here, just so that you're on, the, on this camera. Yeah. So I can bring these cookies out the oven a moment, and then we'll move them to cool down, just so that you can see that they did actually work. <laughs> it's all right when you do it live, and then here are the ones that I made earlier, you do actually want to see it. So I'll just turn this oven up for a moment. So the bigger one, the bigger ones just need a little bit longer, okay, because obviously see how thin these are. So these smell gorgeous. This kitchen just smells of blueberry. So um, so this is what we've done. What, what can you see on there, Laura, on the camera? So I'm on to you with the cookies at the moment. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to try and bring them down to this camera. Yes. Yeah, is that close enough? So those are the ones that we made before. Haven't used all the biscuit dough. So these are the ones that we made before and they the kitchen smells gorgeous, doesn't it? Yes. It smells of blueberry, it really does, it smells good. So I'm gonna take these out of the way to um, calm down. These stands are great. If you can invest in these, they're well worth having. They do come in a set of three. I'm just gonna put them out of the way. sell the stands by the way and there's just a point I want to make um, you will see on most of our pictures that we have this little sticker and it says I'm in a relationship with sugar and crumbs and some of you do ask because they're on the cupcake cases as well none of your products come with the stickers on all it is is that because I bring in a professional photographer to take the pictures to fit our website I just identify them by having my sticker on and also it stops other companies um, taking them so taking my picture and using it for their own website. So if you do see anything, don't panic and think, oh crikey, I've got stickers on my cupcake cases or molds or anything like that. It's just for me to know it's my image. Just put that out of the way, isn't it? Any questions, Laura? Uh, no, no questions. I think um, everyone's enthralled in what you're doing. <laughs> I'm glad you're enthralled. I'm not so sure I am. So. Trying to get this gold and silver to show. That silver's looking like a grey at the moment. So, and then let's um, let's use this one here now. And let's use the bronze colour. Because the bronze is my favourite as well as the gold. So this is the bronze colour. Okay. Um, Shelley Walkington, don't worry. I will contact you. <laughs> She worried about where her order is. No, she wants to add some more stuff to her oh, order. Shelley. <laughs> so what we'll just do is I'm just going to paint the bronze on for you. I don't know whether you can see that, Maria. Sorry. Do you want to come this way, Maria? So we're just going to paint this lovely bronze colour on. So you can see how nice that goes. And then... Be 
these ever need to be used. That there wouldn't be me, I'm not neat about anything. I love it that Harry and Meghan's wedding cake was rustic. I've been telling you guys to go rustic for ages. So now you'll believe me that rustic is the way forward. Where's my gold paint? I've lost it there, it's right in front of my eyes. So, rustic is the way forward, guys. It's gonna make our life so easy. And you know what will make me laugh? At all you guys who didn't like it, in 12 months from now, you'll all be raving about your rustic cakes. And you'll be all there, thinking you're the first one to think of it. Well, you're not, I did. <laughs> Anybody who watches my Facebook lives knows I can only do rustic. I am joking, I'm not the first to think of it. So uh, those of you who know me, know my sense of humour. Um, just to, a couple of comments. The Wilton three-tier stackable rack that Carol's just been showing is 10.99 on the website. Well done, Laura. So that's the gold there. I'm gonna make this one the bronze up on the top here. to show you all I'm doing here is just showing you the colors you know a lot of you guys are a hundred times better than me at painting but um and you know great it's not my thing this really I don't know what my thing is actually but um it's just so I can show you how lovely these colors are and they're worth it if you buy the trio as well I think it's about £10.50 for the trio isn't it Laura it's £9.47 at the moment right okay Someone's just asked and I was just looking. Oh, that's good. <laughs> good timing. Yeah. And then I'll just put the silver on here. So this isn't a design, it's just so that you can see the colours, really, on this little topper. I'm trying to trying to find ways for you to see the colours the best way you can see them. Silver. I'm just going to put bloody silver in the middle of my bronze. Crikey. Let's paint over that. Even I can hear the birds now. They are <laughs> singing, aren't they? Right, okay. So that's just to show you the three colours. So if you decide to go for that triple set, we sell them singly and we sell them as a triple set, okay? And that's the three colours, just so you can see them. I don't know how well you can see them. I know it's rustic painting. Maria won't be doing a video of these, believe me. So <laughs> I won't be allowing her to. But let's do um, one of the biscuits, because somebody asked me if there were biscuits. Now this is the Delilah Karen Daly's mould. It's got two other flowers on it. I'm sure I brought it in the kitchen. There's a possibility I left it in the other kitchen. But um, somebody's just asked, can I, paint on the biscuits in the gold. So let's just do a bit of painting on the gold there. Let's just see if we can do the edges. I think that paints up quite nicely actually. Don't know how well you can see that. Can you see it? <laughs> just about. You know what, let's paint the whole biscuit and then let's see if we can see it. So these paints are fully edible. I know there's a load of hoo-ha at the moment with another company and um, about it, but you know what, it's, I don't know what, what's really going on within that company. There's lots of things being said and hopefully they're gonna get it all sorted out. But for the moment, you guys need an alternative gold and bronze. And you know, I've been selling these color, these paints for a long time. And not everybody is aware of them, but they are, they are lovely. So let's just put the bronze in here, just so you can see it on the biscuit. So the mould that has been used for that particular biscuit it's is called Delilah. Da Dahlia. Dahlia. <laughs> Delilah. <laughs> just in case anyone's trying to find it. <laughs> Dahlia. I think it's D-A-H-L-I, isn't it? I-A. Yeah, I-A. Dahlia cupcake top and it's full. Anybody who knows me knows I didn't go to grammar school <laughs> either. I went to a lovely secondary mod. I'm normal me. I'm the girl off the council estate. So you can take the girl out of the council estate. You just can't always take some of our ways out of us either. So uh, John goes mad, you know, because he, he, he goes mad. He, he 
looks at my messages sometimes and goes mad at my spelling. I blame it on predicted text, so <laughs> changing my words. So, because uh, he's, he's really up on his English, he gets really funny about it. So hopefully you can see the colour on there. Can yes, you see the colour yeah. now? Is it showing through now? Yeah. So I probably wouldn't paint the whole biscuit just with their edible paint, but at least it's another way of showing you how it shows up on the biscuit, doesn't it? When I finish today with the other biscuits, I'm going to take a bit more time and Maria can film those. Instead, instead of this rustic look we're doing here. And leave them to dry. We've got a good audience today, Laura. Yeah. And they're both groups got a good both, audience. Both groups are on. Well, All right. I'm, I'm trying to get to both sets of comments. <laughs> right, okay. And then um, what we will do is we will use one of the gold powders. So let's use this copper, okay, at rose gold. Yeah, now this is the colour splash range, so let's use the rose gold on here. So we're just going to tap it in there. I've just lost a load, just one second. Right, let's get that in there. So let's use this rose gold, rose gold. Add some rejuvenator. Now you can add gin, vodka, not whiskey, to this instead, or lemon extract. So we're just going to make this into a paste. Now a lot of you don't realise that when you make it in your lid and you're thinking, well she's making a right mess in that lid, okay. What you do is, what you don't use afterwards, you leave to dry in the lid, yeah. So you leave it to dry, it dry in the lid, wait till it's dry fully. And then just tap it and it'll all crumble back up into a dust. And then you can put it back into your pot so you don't waste it. So let's just uh, stick it on here. I'm just going to, which is the best way to do this. Hang on. So we're just going to use this nice rose gold from the Colour Splash range as well. Maybe I should have put more in. And this is the sequin cupcake. Um, top up from the Karen Davies range as well. So I don't know if you can see that well enough. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, and you can do this with all the colour splash dusts. So whichever ones you want, whichever colours you want, we do we do sell the full range. Just a bit more in. So I have only put a bit of powder in there because I was just doing the one cupcake. But you've seen how far it goes. So this is the. The rose gold colour, which is lovely actually, isn't it? I don't know whether you can see how well the colour is. And this is the sequin topper, so if you want to give it that sequin effect. And this is quite good actually, if you wanted to... Um, let's just try this. I've got the gold sprinkles coming for this, but we'll just have to put some silver ones on. So let's just... Uh, this is this Wilton sugar. It might not work on here so well actually. But I uh, don't know when you're going to be able to see it so well. But Nikki um, the other day did a wedding cake. But what she did is she painted it with um, a pearl colour. And then she pressed all these sparkling sugars on the top. I don't think you can see that as well on there, can not, you? Not great. I think sometimes at night time, because we're daytime now. I think sometimes at night time we need the lights on above so you can see the sparkling faint thing. So that's the, the copper. And that was the, the powder. Sorry, not the copper. That was the rose gold colour, yeah? So you can so you can use the dust as well. So if you've got the dust, you don't, you know, you've got the paints for doing your little edges and stuff and your little artwork. And then you've got the dust if you just want to dust on it as a dry powder and um, or you can just add rejuvenator and um, reju rejuvenator spirit and then uh, paint it on with that. So let me just go and get these brushes out of the way and get those clean in a moment. Um, got a little bit here. So the ones that I've used the paint for, I'm actually just going to squirt a bit of rejuvenator in there. And the ones I've used the paint for, I'm just going to give them a, a wash in there just to get the off the brushes. 
and then we're going to come back and just paint up this Sorry, I have to do it in bulk when we're live. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you makes this much and make, makes this much mess in the kitchen? So let me get rid of that. Always put your top on your rejuvenator as well because it evaporates. So you don't want to spend your money on this, no top on it, and then find you've got none left. So let me just go and wash my hands again. Now just remember this is just to show you how to decorate it up. This is not us decorating a cake. So I'm just going to move it into the center. I'm going to do a couple of things. We're going to use a spray and we're going to paint as well. Yeah. And then and I'll check my biscuits as well while we're in there. So if anybody wants to ask any questions, just let me wash my hands. Go on, questions time, Laura. Uh, no, there's not actually any questions to be honest. It's time to answer, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Do something right. <laughs> <laughs> they know I never know the real answer, I think. <laughs> right, let's see if these are ready. Yep, they are. So these are the bigger moulds. Where are we now? Um, it'd be easier on this camera, yeah. to be honest. So these yeah. are the bigger moulds. Now these have had to stay in the oven a little bit longer, okay? And um, you can tell that they're done because I've just lift them up. It's a bit of a brave one. They're just slightly brown underneath, okay? We did lose a little bit of his ear before, but won't worry about that. I mean, I'm not going to eat these, I promise. But I'm sure Maria and Laura have got their eyes on them. So there they are, that's the bigger ones. I do like them personally just left as a biscuit, but for those of you who want to decorate them up, don't decorate them necessarily as I have. I'm just showing you the dust. Um, so we'll put those out the way to cool. And then this rose one now, what we can do here is, we're here, yeah. so let me just dry my brushes. So we've used lots of little tools from the baking industry. So let's just put those over there. We've also got this um, mould as well in stock, which is a hydrangea cupcake, which is very pretty as well. So we have that one. Those, these are them when I've just dusted them. Yesterday when I did that little live, I just edged it with the gold, the colour splash gold. Can you see that okay? Yeah. So that's a great little mould, that one. So let's just paint this up now. So we'll just start here. Let's do a couple of ideas here. Can we come forward, please? Yes. Yeah. So let's move all these out of the way then. And then come forward. This kitchen smells so nice. Right, okay. So we're going to use the lilac. So let me just put a bit of lilac in first. And we'll use a bit of the dusky pink. So we'll just do different bits of colours so hopefully you can see. I'm trying to give you little bits of colours so that you can see about using them. So this one's the lilac so if you wanted to do it in lilac start off in a in your centre there so you're just gonna have your excess in the middle of the rows there or your swirl and then we're just going to brush around swirl so we're going to take the excess off and we're just going to brush around yeah you can lightly brush or you can go really dark brush if you wanted to I think this one the really light brush is the nicest one and if you want to pick up a bit more of your colour just take it from the centre yeah so that's it in purple so let's drop down a little bit there. Yes, perfect. Right, okay. So this is in the yellow. 
that's just a little bit of yellow so just to give you some color ideas so again we're just gonna poke it in the middle there yellow and then we're just gonna do our little yellows this isn't a design I'm just showing you a couple of colors to use it looks just nice if you just do it white yeah and then we've got our pink just gonna you can you can pat it off on your brush if you want on your kitchen roll if you want to so you can go as light or as dark as you want it. it's really entirely up to you whichever colors you want to go yeah then if you've got the paint which I've just cleverly put away after tidying up after myself so let you let's use this gold here first So this is one of the fractal golds and this is really pretty. I don't know whether you can see the gold on the Laura. Yeah, just about picking it up, yeah. So always put the darker bit in the middle. So I'll just tell you which gold I'm using here. And I think this one is, so it's the golden shine and this one's sparkling gold. So what I'm trying to show you is you can use anything you want on the, on your sugar paste. But you know, you ladies, that those professionals out there, you're going to do a much neater job than me. But you guys who are just starting out, you know, don't worry and think, oh crikey, I didn't paint it all on perfect. You don't need to paint it on perfect. Okay, and then let's get the um, paint. One second. I need somebody to open this for me. These paints after I very nicely put them away. Just one second. Yeah, Ray is going to do it. Don't worry. See if I still got the bronze here. Just going to brush around and bring up the detail of the rose there. So it just gives you all. It's not roses, these are swirls, by the way. It's just to help you see the colours. Yeah. Then I'm actually going to get this mustard spray. So these colours here, I've got a really nice mustard spray. So some of you on my cake the other day wondered what I'd painted the cake with as well. So when you're doing large amounts, oh, <laughs> when you're doing large amounts, now this is going to get a bit messy, so watch the camera. Give this a good shape. This is PME. So this is if you want to do a really big space. And I'm going to have to get everything out of the way here because I'm going to have everything covered in spray just thinking about it. And that will go into a nice rose gold colour. I don't know if you can see that. Yes. So if you wanted to spray a whole cake rather than paint it, you could spray a whole cake with the sprays. So that's just to give you a selection of colours there. I hope that sort of shows you a few of the colours. Yeah? I'm going to go wash my hands again. So let's recap and then we're done. I'll tell you what we're done. Wash my hands a moment. So Nikki Shevlin's asked if we can do a fudge cake covered with the sprinklicious. Fudge cake with the sprinklicious. <laughs> the 
delicious. Ouch, got sprinklicious. The sprinklicious, which ones? She hasn't said, I'm hoping she will in a minute. Right. So let's recap now. So what we've been doing today then. So today we have been just playing in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. Okay. We have been showing you an alternative way to use your Karen Davies moulds. Let me get this out of the way. So a lot of you asked me about this mat here, which we on over here. I'm just going to show you the mat. Right. So a lot of you have asked me about this mat. This mat is massive. It's as big as your worktop. So it's like nearly 600 mils long and probably a bit more the other way as well. So I think it's just short of 600 mils in, what would you call that, depth? width so I think it's 600 mils wide and 500 and something long so it's a really nice big mat and um, I've got it covered in lots of things at the moment but it's got it's got charts and measurements in inches it's got centimeters it's got millimeters it's got a size guide for sugar paste for the cake so like here it will say um, size of cake so if you're doing a six inch cake you want to roll it to 15 centimeters which is great eight inch cake 20 centimeters so 20 centimetres is there. And so it tells you all the size of the cake. It tells you how deep to go if you go, how deep the cake is, whether it's three inches, four inches. Um, it's got some top tips there. Prepare your cake by filling um, in any holes and dents so with pieces of almonds or sugar paste, depending whether you're doing a Christmas cake or whether you're doing a, a sponge cake. Um, so the map there is, is a great, great, and it's not, it's not a Chinese poppy rubbish either. This is a very good mat. It's made by Baco Glide and it's £32.50 on offer at the moment. So then the next thing is, is that we were using the Karen Davies moulds. Now the Karen Davies moulds are great for sugar paste, okay? But Karen also said use them to make biscuits with. So today they're looking a bit dirty because we've been making biscuits with them. But there's a good selection of moulds here. They're all on the website. We've got loads of moulds. And what we've done today is, out of these, I'll just tell you, that's the peony, the large teddy, the large rose. Are we down here, Laura? Yeah. We've got the teddy face, uh, the teddy cupcake face, the buttercream flowers one, daisy. I think this is called piped swirl, I think it is, or piped, you'll see it. This is the roses. This is the sequin cupcake mould. And then you'll see... The little design that we make with them the little pipe roses and um let's see the pipe roses biscuits uh the sequin mold where did that sequin mold go so there's the sequin one and then you can use these these are purple cupcakes domes so if you've only got if you can only make flat top cakes cupcakes you can use these domes to shape them so you dome them you put a little blob of buttercream underneath and then sit the sugar paste on top. That makes it nice and easy for you. Um, what else have we used? We've got the hydrangea cupcake mold, which is really very, very pretty. And they also do a border for that as well. So it's just a nice long border that you just put round your cake. It's an inch deep. So that one's fantastic. Um, the, the colors we've been using today is the color splash range. We've used various ones of those. A um, bit difficult to show you the colors because Today, you know, we're doing this as a live demo in a light kitchen. You've got to remember this is not a studio. So when you're in a studio, they can adjust the lighting to make everything bling up and look nice. Whereas I've got a window there, spotlights, window there. And as you can hear, the doors open. So the patio doors are open there. So you can hear all the birds tweeting as well. Um, we've used paint today. Uh, we've used the bronze from the Colour Splash range, which is really very pretty. We've used the gold. Um, which one are we on? Middle. Right. So we've used the gold, the bronze, and I think I haven't got the silver open. But you can buy them individually or you can buy them as a set of three, the trio. Um, we've used the colour splash dust. You can buy those as a set as well, I think. Actually, no, I've stopped selling them as sets. Yeah, I've stopped selling them as sets. And the only reason I've stopped selling them as sets, but if you want to ask me about a set, I can do that for you. Is that the boys can't pick them all together <laughs> they drive me mad they, they, they occasionally there's that many colors in the sets that and they sound the same from silver to silver sparkle to something else it can get a bit confusing when they're counting them up so sometimes customers got two or one and 
whatever so I stopped doing the sets but if somebody wants a full set just message me and I can sort that out for you and then from that we have made the biscuits so let's show you those because that's what it's all about uh, it's all about using the sugar and crumbs flavoured icing sugar you can use any flavour you want to make these biscuits today the flavour of choice is blueberry okay over here down <laughs> over here there we yeah. go. So we're using blueberry today. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you can use any biscuit you want, but they will make your kitchen smell amazing and they do taste amazing as well. And they do really have a nice snap on them, which is really good. And I'm going to have to have one because I just can't cope any longer. But I'm going to put half in the biscuit bowl that has depleted. What's happened to you two? They've been there in the munchies. Have you heard them? <laughs> nothing left so I'm gonna have half of a half <laughs> it tastes good it mm. tastes really good <laughs> it do taste good okay so I hope you've enjoyed today so just let me tell you a few things again I've got to eat the friggin biscuit now haven't I one second so there's my notes so Facebook community sugar and crumbs Facebook community join it if you've not already joined it's a really nice group it's about sharing your cakes and giving help and support to people who need it it's not about pricing your cakes if you are wanting to know a price on what to sell a cake for just remember there's a different price for the north and a different price from the south and to be fair if you do not know how to price your cake then you should be in business okay it's very simple if you want to price a cake there's a cake calculator, message me and I will send you the link for the cake calculator, but I think it's in the rules. Um, I did realise that um, in the rules it missed part of the link simply because you're only so allowed so many characters. So I've adjusted it so it's there. So do go and read the rules, but use the cake calculator because that's great. It tells you, you know, to put in the cost of your ingredients, your time, your effort, everything. And then you've costed your cake. And you know what, if you can't get that price for your cake, then I'd give cake business up and just make cakes for yourself. It'd be much more fun. Um, so anybody, any any comments like hobbyists versus professionals, it's a no-no. It starts a massive argument. I don't want to see it on the group. We're not here to argue. We're here to be positive. Um, we've got some classes coming up here in the Sugar and Crumbs. Oh, so enjoy the group, by the way. And if you want to know anything about products, if you've been using a product, you know, of course, tell people about the products, but please, any links that will promote another company, I will delete that link, okay? It's a sugar and crumbs, and I'm trying to promote my own company. It's why I'm, it's why I'm um, doing the group, because I want people to talk about cake, talk about using sugar and crumbs products, how to use them, and um, obviously, I don't want to be sending all my hard work and business to other companies. You can shop where you like, but I'm very straight up, I'll tell you what it's about. So um, we've got some classes coming here at Sugar and Crumbs. It is here in my own home. I do do small classes in this kitchen for five. I've got a Nifty Nozzles class um, up for the 30th of June. It's 99 pounds. I've got two spaces left if anybody wants to join me. Just pop over to the website and if you go to shop and brands, I think the first link is classes. So go and um, join me there. They're a great day. Anybody who's watching now who's been on my classes will tell you it's very relaxed, very informal. It's in this kitchen and we do have a really nice day together. I'll show you how to do your buttercream. The Nifty Nozzles are the only genuine Russian piping tips. Again, if you want to ask me about piping tips, I'm only prepared to talk about the genuine ones. And that is because Alexander, my business partner from Russia, he is the original designer. I am supporting him and his business. He has done designs that my daughter has done and we have registered those designs. We're making sure that we use the right steels. They've all been food grade um, safe. It's all food grade safe steel. We don't sell Chinese copies of our steels. And some of you have problems with them because you know what, you're buying a copy nozzle with sort of really thin, tiny little slits and the flowers can't get out. Okay, so if you want to talk to me about the Russian piping tips or on the community, then it'll only be nifty nozzles. Otherwise, any copies of anything, Karen Davies moulds, Katie Sue moulds, FMN cutters, if you've got a copy, 
don't bring it to the page because it will be deleted. So that's a class on the 30th of June. Anybody who wants to join me on those? We've got Natalie Porter coming along. She's got two classes on the 2nd and 3rd of September. They're absolutely amazing. One is um, flowers and fillers, which is great because if you're doing that big wedding cake and you want all that big drapes of flowers and fillers, she's going to come along and show you how to do that. And then this year's trend is putting um, big roses and flowers onto a big hoop and having it off the side of your cake. So she's going to do that as well, and that's called the Rose Wreath um, cake, um, class. I think that one's the 2nd of September, and the Flowers and Fillers is on the Monday. Um, if you can't afford to pay the whole price now, you can pay a deposit. And in fact, I was just going to talk, I was talking to Laura before we went live. I'm actually going to change the website so that you can pay a deposit of £50 per class it's a non-refundable deposit because I'm holding your space and then we'll contact you one month before for the balance uh, for the balance um, or another part, another part of it and you can pay the balance when you actually turn up so that will make it easier for anybody who wants to go on those classes um, I do only have one space left I think on the rose wreath or two spaces left so do jump on that if you can and then we've got Zoe Fancy Cakes come in Go over to the classes. She's doing free classes for us here in October. So I've got her for three days on the run. Okay, she's doing a fantastic Bollywood lady, which is amazing. She's doing um, a hand painted rose painting class and making a big giant rose as well. And what's the other class? Bride and groom. Pardon? Bride and groom. Oh, the bride and groom, yes. So she's making those. Now those are for classes for 12. They are here and we're setting up a big classroom out there for 12 people so do come and join us on those because we need to be sat at tables for that and again I'm going to adjust it so that you only need to pay the deposit so if you want to pay a deposit now and then a bit more you can phone Laura and keep paying a bit more okay so that's the classes the magnet competition so your free magnet so everybody who places an order is getting their I'm in a relationship with sugar and crumbs magnet so do remember the competition, it starts from now, we're at the end of May, so you know what, I'm not going to do it for this month. So from now to the 30th of June, just take a picture with your magnet, post it on our page, uh, you can either post it in the group or in the community, you'll only get one vote though, so don't keep posting it, because we'll get it and we'll put it in. We'll put it in. If you want to make sure it's definitely gone in the drawer, send us a private message as well. And that will go in the drawer for a £25 um, voucher, so you can buy whatever you want. And then the person who can take their badge on holiday with them, um, all those people who take it away, or you know what, a strange place to have your picture done. Please don't take pictures in the toilet. <laughs> Or whatever other activity you may well be doing so, uh, but you know what take this to the furthest place that you can and then take a picture with you with it and it will go in the drawer as well and um, please don't use the same picture every month won't work because we'll be on to you um, and that's for a 25 pound voucher so I think that's good fun and um, what else do we want I'm not here on Monday night so our eight o'clock session is um it's bank holiday Monday I'm not here um, I'm having the night off because I'm babysitting grandchildren so I will see you next Thursday and next Thursday I am making um, sugar paste decorations for cakes I'm gonna have real cake and I'm gonna make you some cupcake toppers and I don't know what's going on if you see that I'm looking a bit strange I'm looking at Maria and um, Laura in fits of giggles about something you might be able to hear Laura giggling what's going on <laughs> find out tell you after so <laughs> but they're in fits of giggles about something so I don't know what it is um anyhow oh actually you know what I think I've got that wrong actually about the drawer no the drawer is for 50 pound for all those people who do a picture for this okay and the ones who get the furthest away is a 25 pound prize drawer yeah I was robbing John of his money there. And what else, what have we got there? I think that's it. Don't forget to like and share. 
pop over to YouTube. It's very important you do like our page and share it with all your friends. If you're in the group, I don't think you can share because it's a private group. But if you're on the page, you can share. And please pop over to our YouTube channel, Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nozzles. I don't expect you to watch the live again, but please go over there, register on there and give us a like um, because we're trying to build up our likings. Don't worry that you're helping me to get paid for videos. I am a million miles away yet before we would even get a penny off YouTube towards being paid for our videos. But it's just nice to let everybody know, you know what, these people have got a nice thumbs up and they've got viewers, so uh, let's share it. So I'm going to find out what these two are giggling about because they're very off-putting. <laughs> they're rolling around the kitchen here now, I don't know what's going on. What's going on with you two? <laughs> because someone said that they can see us eating the biscuits. Shelly, oh. snitching on us. <laughs> Well, at least it was something innocent, wasn't it? Right, so they can see that, all right. So, Shelley, you've got eyes like a hawk. So, anyhow, so they can see them eating the biscuits. So, I don't think they're eating any more. They've ate all those ones I've got. So, they're taking these into work. So, anybody who's wondering where these are going, they're going into work today because they're not staying here because I'll be scoffing them. So, I've been very good and only had a quarter of one. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's live. You know, I hope some of you have learned something from it. Some of you may just watch for entertainment purposes reasons and others of you may watch and think crikey I don't know what I was watching there but I hope you enjoy it and I will see you next Thursday morning 11 o'clock live with Laura and Maria giggling in the kitchen again so I'm going to say goodbye and I'm just going to give you a minute to say goodbye to me as well don't forget those thumbs up likes you can send me the occasional love heart if you like I don't mind <laughs> and I'm going thank you for joining me bye bye